With just months to go until graduation, Vietnamese engineering student Tang Yat Hui is dreaming big to land a job in robotics at a foreign tech firm. He's honed his craft in mechatronics, a cross between mechanical engineering, electronics, and computer science, a varied skill set he believes will give him an edge. I can actually connect other engineers together, because if I only study on one field, then probably I will hardly understand the other field. Maybe I can even connect uh, Vietnam to other countries. For example, like in Taiwan, uh, we can, I can maybe be the bridge. In an interconnected world reliant on technology and diverse skills, towns like Tang are highly sought after. He's one of thousands of students at Industrial University in Vietnam's economic hub Ho Chi Minh City, vying for a spot in a competitive global tech market that's increasingly investing in the Southeast Asian country. The school is no longer just focusing on skills for Vietnam's historically dominant sectors, like making clothes, machines and electronics. It's expanded into courses like high-tech design and investing millions of dollars into a smart factory lab to train students on top-grade devices. This university enrolled a record number of students into its mechanical engineering program this year. Now, students and professors alike are working to seize this opportunity to bring local talents up to scratch as more foreign tech firms invest in Vietnam. That includes chip-making companies from Taiwan. For the global tech leader, Vietnam presents a prime opportunity. With over four times the population of Taiwan, Vietnam has a large and young workforce, which is why Taipei-based AI software exec Jonathan Yu has high hopes for Taiwan and Vietnam's trade ties. Like lots of our co co customer from semiconductor or even like IC design house, they found out that some of the, uh, the best students in Vietnam, uh, you have the chance to get like, the best students in Vietnam to join your company. But if you do the same hiring strategy in Taiwan, it's very difficult because maybe the best will go to TSMC. But now you can hire the best in Vietnam. While top students here are keeping an open mind, ready to learn from industry giants, most of Vietnam's labor force still lack proper training which is why some of these students are already aspiring to share all they are learning. Masteral candidate Lei Hu Ang's ultimate goal is to become a professor in Vietnam, to bring prosperity to his country and people through tech. I want to become a professor in Vietnam, I want to share my knowledge of mine to many students. The training of the training is very important in Vietnam and in all the countries that are growing in the world. Now with high tech at the heart of Vietnam's development plans, these students are critical in shaping the country's future as Vietnam aims for a rapid climb up the ranks in the global economy. Yi Chen, Alison Nguyen and Joyce Sen in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam for Taiwan Plus.